What is going on and good morning. Uh, right now it is 12.20 a.m. here in Denver, Colorado. I just got off work around midnight and everything like that. So just giving you guys an update what's going on. Doing my job thing, you know, 3.30 to midnight, which isn't that bad. I get uh, Monday off, um, which is Memorial Day, which I'm pretty happy about that too. Uh, tomorrow, don't have it on me now, which I could show you guys, but I'll be working on another lower, and the lower uh, video will be a little bit more in depth than what I do and everything like that in preparation for doing an 80%. Uh, lower and everything like that. So I'll pretty much say do this step and then forward on to the other steps that I do um, and everything like that. Also, the other video I was talking about for the keyboard, um, I got the K95 keyboard and if I look on Amazon right now, I believe it dropped even lower in price if I look that up. So just let me see what it is now. All right, uh, K95 was down to like, um, it was like I've seen it like 164, 165, but it looks like the price has shot back up on Amazon.com. Uh, At one point, uh, this keyboard was for $165. Um, with Prime shipping, it's two days, so I got that and everything like that. Also, I got the MX uh, keyboard uh, translucent black keys with front facing um, print on the keys itself. And I also did some of the key modifications. I haven't done every single one of them, um, but I have done a majority of them where you can actually see if there is a difference in the lighting and everything like that so you can kind of tell. And the reason why I stopped doing the keycap replacement is because um, I have no idea what I did, how I did it, why it happened or anything like that, but my forearm became so inflamed and it was so painful where I couldn't type at work, I couldn't write any notes down at work, like it hurt for me to use my right hand and I'm right hand dominant, so it was a kind of a crappy situation um, with my arm becoming inflamed and everything like that but me being me um, like trying to ignore the pain pop some ibuprofen and call it good and hopefully it will go away so it did go away it's still kind of agitated right now so um, it's going to definitely be interesting when I start messing with my lower and everything because you have to do a lot of processes with that and everything like that um, I got for example if I can find it in this darkness right here uh, this is a 1 4 inch uh, carbide this is roughly two and a half inches in length and you want a four inch carbide or longer and I saw like six inch carbides are like 60 bucks or something like that so I'm going to make do with what I got. This was like $21 off of Amazon. And um, this is a four flute that I'll be using instead of a three flute. And basically the flutes just mean like how many. Let me see if I could take it out of the packaging. Yeah. So this is what a four flute looks like um, for an end mill bit. And this is going to be using the 80% arms jig and everything like that. So going back to the keyboard I got and everything. So let me see if I can go ahead and take the camera and not damage anything while I'm doing it. So I apologize, but um, let me see if I could turn off the monitor. And this is what it looks like. The first two top rows of here are completely uh, with new key caps and then the center is basically where the lettering is. Your, your keyboard and all that stuff that's where I haven't replaced them so you can see a difference and this right here is actually the sonar effect um, like I said before sonar tech in the Navy and everything like that so that's why I have this one 
Oslo, which is pretty cool. The um, the Corsair mouse that I have actually coincides with that, so it kind of bleeps with it too, and everything like that. So that's pretty cool. I'm sorry for my hand in the way and everything. If you guys uh, would like for me to do a review on this keyboard, please let me know and everything like that. And I will do a review like like professionally, like it's supposed to be done with this camera right here. So this camera only shoots like 30 frames per second. I really wish I could get a 60 frame per second camera and have it like in 4K video, but those cameras are definitely expensive uh, for sure. But all right, guys, just giving you guys an update on what's going on. I've been hecka busy these past couple of days and everything like that, and I apologize. I haven't been producing content like I want to. I want to do some more gameplay videos and everything like that. I got Witcher 3, but I have to be careful about posting um, gameplay and then monetizing it and then whole legalities if I can do it or not do it and everything like that. It's just a big pain in the butt dealing with these companies sometimes with their rules and regulations as far as gameplay and, and everything like that and posting it up online and monetizing it uh, which I would like to do um, personally but alright guys I appreciate everybody again with your support and everything my health is good and everything as far as I'm concerned and everything like that so thank you for watching to this uh, conclusion of my video and as always comment subscribe rate this video click that like button click the share button if you found that or this video interesting and everything and um, you guys always have a great day morning noon night whatever time it is when you decide to watch this video you guys have a great day now bye